that just happened. What's up dudes and welcome back to another exciting episode of Fishing More Outdoors. If you guys are new here, haven't seen my face before, hey, how you doing? My name is Murda and yeah, I do lots of like fishing and outdoors videos and as you can see from behind me, we are fishing a big old spillway today. That is because right here, as you can maybe see, it's gonna thunderstorm once again. That is three videos in a row that we're getting rained on and thunderstormed on. And also, we don't have the kayak today. Unfortunately, Brandon wanted to borrow that today. So yeah, we're just gonna be kind of doing some shore fishing today. As you can see, some dude's trunk's open and I don't see anybody anywhere. That's kind of weird. But anyways, guys, yeah, we're gonna be targeting some walleye and smallmouth today. The walleye fishing lately has been so bad here and is that something on my face? There we go. So the walleye fishing has been just absolutely terrible here. I'm not sure it's because of the, the, the dam's so low right now, but yeah, the walleye fishing's been kind of crappy. So hopefully we can rely on the smallies today and hopefully we can get some big ones from shore. So stay tuned guys. Let's get right into fishing. Probably gonna leave this big camera behind for now and uh, just rip the chesty. So stay tuned. Let's go catch some fish. We're going to be starting out with two baits today, dudes. One bait being a little spinner bait on my 7.4 medium heavy sensory rock. Whoa, I almost fell. Then the next I'm just gonna be throwing a little paddle tail on a jig head on my divine spinning rod. And uh, hopefully we can crank some smallmouth. All right, I'm gonna start with the spinner bait, I think, and just kind of target some bigger fish, hopefully. You would think I'd get some bigger fish on this. And hopefully I also will not fall in the water whoa almost did immediately almost fell in the water all right stay tuned i wish i brought my spinner bait rod today instead i'm using my swim jig rod i know what you're thinking is there a difference yes yes there is okay right away guys i think i'm going to be switching to my paddle tail I think the current is just a little too strong right here. All right, we need to find a juicy little six cents paddle tail quick. Oh yes, this is what was catching the smallies in the last video. So might as well give this a gander. And I'm going to trim it up a little bit for a little better hookup ratio. The jigs I have, unfortunately, I'm not, I don't have any six cents jigs right now. So uh, these jigs are kind of crappy and little, but we're going to throw it on anyways, and I believe these are quarter ounce jigs, or eighth ounce jigs actually, sorry. Okay, that looks as juicy as can be. Let's give this a whirl. Oh yes, that's going to catch a fish. Maybe even first cast. Stay tuned, we'll, we'll find out shortly. <laughs> oh, what was that? What was that? That felt fishy. Whoa, I almost just died. All right, dude, it's been here about 10 minutes. Not a single fish. I'm pretty sure I had one bite. It didn't feel very big. So uh, I'm gonna go up to the platform. There is a family of like eight over there though, so. Hopefully I don't get in their way really quick too. I am going to leave the bait caster because like I said, I think the spinner bait's just a little uh, too slow for this fast moving current. You're back. Yeah. What's up, dude? Did you watch that video? Yeah. That's sweet. You guys been catching anything? Uh, this is the dude from that one video we made, dudes. <laughs> you ever catch a cart before? No. You want to catch that one? Reel it in, man. Yeah, it's been pretty slow. I didn't catch a single thing down there. Yo, dudes, before we get into this stupid part of this video, I'm sorry for stopping it, but I just want to say I hope all of you guys had an amazing 4th of July weekend with your friends and family. And to celebrate 4th of July weekend and just the whole summer in general, uh, we decided to come out with some new merch. And I think it is the dopest merch we have come out with yet. It is the super juicy merch. I'll pull a picture up right here. You guys all know I say the words super juicy a lot. And yeah, we decided to make it a thing. And I think it turned out really, really good. Huge shout out to my buddy Jason for creating it. I'm going to, uh, 
I'll leave his Instagram down below so you guys, uh, if any of you guys are in the market for an awesome logo or just need anything drawn up, head to my homie, Jason. He's the real deal and he makes sick logos like the, like the Super Juicy, the Holy Buckets, the Kevin merch. He's made all the fire merch. So yeah, go check out Jason. And really quick dudes, I just want to chat with you kind of about Fish and More a little bit. A lot of you guys have been kind of complaining that I've been fishing the power plant next to my house a lot and that is just because Fish and More is kind of struggling right now. We kind of struggle every summer just because our views like aren't even close like they don't even compare to our winter views. So all summer long we're kind of hurting and that's why we put out uh, merch drops like this because we're not making a lot of you guys know we, we don't make a lot of money on YouTube like even if I get like a 10,000 view video that's like 40, 40 bucks guys that like pays for my gas to get to the to get to the lake. Most people start like GoFundMes in situation like this but I would just much rather do a merch drop and kind of give you guys something in return instead of just you know sending us uh, donations. We have some huge trips planned that we we want to make happen this year but it's just probably not going to be possible unless you guys absolutely murder this merch drop. So dudes if you want to help support Fish and More and help us do awesome things so that we can film it and you guys can can watch it and enjoy it do me a huge favor go buy some super juicy merch it would mean the world and yeah you just be you just be supporting your guys's favorite creator we got cell phone cases we got big tapestries we got beach towels because it's summer we got t-shirts we got hoodies and uh yeah, we even got coffee cups, so go check it out, guys. Go buy some, and ooh, and I almost forgot the best part. We're doing a huge giveaway at the end of October to everybody who buys the merch and uh, shares the merch on their Instagram story and tags us. You have to tag us. So go buy the merch, dudes. Tag us on Instagram, and yeah, it just, it, it mean a lot. Let's get back to fishing. That just happened. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Just broke my rod. That is freaking just sick. Just sick. Have a good one, bro. Oh my God. Oh my God. I am so pissed right now. I can't believe that just happened. Cannot believe that just happened. Like what the f What in the world? Does this have a weak spot or something? Well, dudes, that was one of the stupidest things that's ever happened to me. I know exactly why that rod broke. Uh, off camera, I ordered a bunch of rods from Sixth Sense probably about two months ago now, and the box that came from UPS was like totally demolished. Like, I can even, I have a picture of it. I can even pull a picture up right here. So as you can see, the box was freaking mangled. It was, it looks like, it looked like at one time the box was in a triangle. And uh, I was really hoping none of my rods would break from it, uh, just from the box being all bent up. And I didn't really see any anything wrong oh 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 i didn't really see anything wrong with the rods but i knew that there could be you know a little pressure nick in it or something like that and yeah i was i was snagged i was barely even pulling i was just trying to you know get the snag out and it just snapped right in half right here in front of a in front of a whole family of like eight and the one kid was actually a kid that's been in one of my videos before um yeah that was friggin' really lame and embarrassing. And I only have one spinning rod, so now I'm stuck with just my bait caster, but, oh my God, that was friggin' lame. But it isn't raining yet. I think we got about an hour left, so I'm leaving that dam because I just totally embarrassed myself. And I'm gonna go to another dam with my bait caster and <laughs> hopefully catch a small mold. I can't believe that just happened, oh my God. 
Okay, dudes. Hopefully we can catch something here. Look at that. They put up a sign. Distance, six feet. Keep your distance. Howdy. Catching any? Nothing? Hopefully. Ooh, there's a bunch of bait here. That's good. Whoa, there's a fish. Thing pounded me. Oh, there's a carp. That's not good. Usually when the carp are here, the smallmouth are here, but god dang, look at all this bait right here. It's a lot of bait for there to not be any fish. Or maybe that's why the bait's here, because there isn't any fish. <laughs> There's another carp. Yeah, dudes. I think it's just infested with carp right now. And unfortunately, this spot, it's like impossible to catch them. It's all rocks here, so it's like bottom fishing's just, like I said, impossible. God, there's even bait. Can you guys see that? I wonder if you guys can see the bait over here. Look at that, guys. That is just thousands of bait. Thousands of bait, and it's all right here, too. Let's see if I can kind of bring my bait in this little current seam. I've been seeing some comments. Some of y'all are a little butthurt that I have been fishing the spillway so much. And there's a reason for that, dudes. There's a reason for everything. Like I mentioned earlier in this video, we just, we are not making a lot of income right now on the YouTube. So I like, in all seriousness, I can't really afford to take out my boat every day. It's expensive pulling around a 19 foot boat. So that's like the main reason we've been fishing a lot of spillways and doing kayak videos is just, we're, we're kind of hurting right now. Anyways, I'll stop whining and y'all should too. And just enjoy watching the videos. Cause who cares where we're fishing? I like to think we're pretty entertaining. I don't think it should matter where we're fishing. As long as we're outside doing what we love, we're having a good time. That was the money cast too. If you can get in that spot right there. It's just, if you guys watched last video, or uh, yeah, last video, the smallmouth video, there's like that spot at that one dam that if you get the perfect cast, there's usually a fish sitting there. Same scenario, right at that corner. If you cast just like that, you should set the hook instantly. It's usually that quick and they're just not here. They're not anywhere. Or they're all down river doing their summer, their summer, their summer things. All right, I'm out of here. But this video's not over yet. What's up, What's up man? Nothing much. Fish some more? Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> you catch no, dude, it's been so shitty. Yeah. It's my second dam today. I haven't caught a fish. Yeah, we were at Gold Dam. He had 20 plus walleye, but. Oh uh, dang! Nice. A lot yeah, of people. A lot of people. Yeah. Same with the last dam. All right, dudes. Have a good one. Yeah, good luck to you. Holy shit, look at this. Raspberries. Oh, I fucking love raspberries. Oh, yes, package in the mail. You wanna go aside? Yeah? You wanna go aside? Go aside. Avery, you stay in the yard. You wanna go aside too, dude? Let's go. Avery's such a big girl. Okay, well, we might as well take the reel right off of this. That's basically useless. Mail day at the Fish and More headquarters. And I'm pretty sure, dudes, this is a little package from Waterland Fishing Co. Right there, Waterland Fishing Co. Right off the bat, we got some fire hats. Oh my God. Look at these hats, dudes. 
their camel. That's so freaking sick. This one's sick too, even just for being black. Oh my God, are these freaking sick. Okay, what else we got in here? That's it. Hoodie, we got ourselves a hoodie. Yeah, it fits perfect. I'm wearing my GoPro still because I have to use the mic because my mic part broke in my camera. But this is dope, dudes. These hats are sick. This hoodie's sick. If you guys haven't heard of Waterland, they are our... They're a sunglasses company that helps support fishing more. And they're awesome. Awesome company. But anyways, dudes, I think we're going to end this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a little bit of a strange video, uh, an embarrassing video, and a shitty video. But I still hope you guys enjoyed it. So if you guys could, like this video, share this video, smash that subscribe button. Go pick up some super juicy merch. It would mean the world to me and it'd help out a ton. And yeah, I think that's it for today. We'll see you next time. <coughs>